Your cute smile is what makes waking up work every day. Good morning dear children. Have an amazing day for all of you. Dear children, in the last class we have started our 7th chapter that is when fractions combine. Right? Are you remembering that story? The story of two little cats and a monkey. Okay. So, in the today's class we can learn how to compare two fractions. 2 by 5 is a fraction. 2 by 8 is a fraction. Did you know which one is greatest or which one is smallest? Okay. Today we can learn how to compare two fractions to say that which is greatest or which is smallest or else if it is equal to. Okay. So let us go for the class. Let us compare fractions. So you know that there are three symbols for comparing. Here is the greater than symbol, then less than symbol and equal to sign. So let us compare two fractions. 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. Can you say which fraction is greater? In this, the denominator is same, right? Both are 5. Then, here the denominator have the same value. Then, check the numbers on top. That is, numerator. Check the numbers. First one is 2 and second one is 3. Which is greater? Yes, 3. So, 3 is the largest. So, we can say that 3 by 5 is greatest fraction. That is, 2 by 5 less than 3 by 5. Okay. 2 by 5 is the smallest and 3 by 5 is the greatest number. Okay, that is the less than symbol. Next, we can look at another example. 5 by 6 and 5 by 7. Here, the denominator is not same. Right. Then, the numerators are same. That is 5. Okay. I will give a tip for you. When the numerator of the fraction increases, the value of the fraction increases. Next, as the value of denominator increases, the value of fraction decreases. Okay. You, did you got the idea? Numerator is increasing, then the fraction's value will be increasing. Denominator is increasing, the value of fraction will decrease. Here, 7 is Greater than 6. Therefore, we can say that 5 by 7 is lesser than 5 by 6. Okay, that is 5 by 6 greater than 5 by 7. Here, 5 by 6 is the greatest value. Okay, so we can check it with the help of a calculator. What is the value of 5 divided by 6? Yes, 0 0.83. Then 5 divided by 7 is 0 0.71. Okay, which is greater? 0 0.83 is the greater. So, therefore, 5 by 6 is greater than 5 by 7. Okay. So, keep this in your mind. If the numerator is same, then the fraction with the smaller denominator who have a larger value. Okay, don't forget about that. If the numerator is same, then the fraction with the smaller denominator who have larger value. Let us look at another example. 3 by 4 and 2 by 3. Which fraction is greater? Here, the denominators are di different and the numerators are also different. So, how can we find which is greatest? Yes, you can cross multiply both the fractions okay there are lot of examples or lot of methods now i am giving a simple method that is cross multiplying each okay so how can we cross multiply first we can multiply the denominator 3 
with the numerator 3. Okay, so 3 by 3, that is 3 into 3 is 9. Okay, 3 into 3, 9. And 4 into 2, 8. Okay, so which is largest number 3 or 8? Sorry, 9 or 8? 9. So we can say that 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 3. Why? Because 9, 3, 3 by 4, we have wrote the number 9 and at the side 2 by 3, we have wrote the number 8. Okay, so 3 by 4 is the greatest number. Okay, right? Okay, now I hope that you all have learned how to compare two fractions. Right? Can you compare any two fractions? Okay. So, we can go for our practical sections. Just listen that. First of all, open applications, then education and J fraction lab. Okay. In this, we have already do the first level. That is, what is the first level? Yes. Selecting or finding, clicking the numerators. Now, in this class, we can go with the third one that is combining the fractions. So, we can change the language to English. The third level that is comparing fractions. Okay. You just need the mouse. Just click greater than, equal to or less than. Okay. So, this is the game. 1 by 2, here 4 by 7. You can see that the numerators and denominators are different. So, how can we find? Yes, cross multiplying. So, 1 into 7, 7. So, here is 7. Then, 2 into 4, 6. Is it 6? No, 2 into 4, 8. Okay. So, here 7, here 8. So, which one is greater? This is the greatest fra fraction, 4 by 7. So, which symbol we want to select? Greatest equal to less than. How can we say that? 1 by 2 is less than 4 by 7. Okay. So, this is the less than symbol. See? That is correct answer. You got one point. Okay. Next we can go for second one. For that press continue. Okay. 3 by 7. Here 3 by 6. See dear children. Now the numerators are same. Right. So if the numerators are same. Then how can we check? If this is greatest or lesser, yes, as the numerator of the fraction increases, the value of the fraction also increases. Here, the denominator, the value of denominator, which denominator is greatest? 7 or 6? Yes, 7 is the greatest denominator. So, the value is smaller. Right. So, this is the smallest fraction and this is the greatest fraction. So, we can say that 3 by 7 less than 3 by 6. Yes, that is the correct answer. So, dear children, you can score double marks if you are hiding this figure. Okay, there is no need of figure for us. So, for hiding the figure, you can click options this is the options then you can select hide pie chart okay now the pie chart is hidden now if the answer is correct means then you will get four marks okay so we can go for next one five by five and five by eight here also the numerators are same so, we can go for denominators. Which one is the smallest denominator? Yes, 5. So, this is the greatest value. 5 by 5 greater than 5 by 8. 
say you will got the double marks that is four marks okay next continue one by one one by five here also numerators are same right so this is the smallest one one by one greater than one by five see your scores two marks so four plus two six marks okay next nine by nine four by nine here the denominators are same if the denominators are same is we can check which one is the largest numerator here nine is the largest one right so nine by nine is greater than four by nine okay so likewise you can score many points okay so this is all about the third one that is comparing fractions okay so in the next class we can study the level 10 that is adding fractions okay so i hope you all understood this if you are having doubts you can contact me okay thank you